Hey guys, it's Ro. I just got this box in the mail and I am so excited because I know exactly what it is. Inside this box are all of the items from my baking line in their final packaging and I just wanted to take a few minutes and film a video and share this moment with you guys. Please bear with me, this is my first unboxing. Also, all of the items that I'm showing you today are not out yet, but they are available for pre-order on Amazon and Walmart. I'll put a link down below. Oh. <laughs> this feels like Christmas. And look at Cookie. <laughs> she amuses me. Oh yes. Ah, look at all the goodies. I don't know where to start. I'm just grabbing something. <gasps> First up are some baking basics. We have measuring cups and measuring spoons. I love these because they are both stainless steel and I color coded the handles with silicone grippies because you can memorize the handle color. Like the yellow is the tablespoon so you don't have to look and go, oh, which one's the right measurement? Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, yes, nerdy nummy spatula set. The large spatula has the smart cookie and then the small spatula are little 16-bit hearts. They also have a hidden message underneath. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Oh, and this one says, ta-da! You see? We've got cake testers. This one comes in a two pack. There's the smart cookie and the 16 bit heart. I prefer using cake testers versus toothpicks because they're longer. So it keeps me further away from the heat in the oven. Next are the color coordinated tip set. They use a variety of size decorating tips on the show. And I thought to make it even easier for beginner bakers is to color coat them. So I can say grab a number two tip or the blue tip. Also on the packaging, it shows which design each tip makes with frosting because I thought that would be really helpful. I included a coupler into each tip set because when I first started baking, it wasn't always easy to find them. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is another baking basic. These are decorating bags, but I've designed them for beginner bakers. Whenever I was baking, I would fill my piping bag way too full. And then when I was piping a cupcake, the frosting would just explode out the end. And I always wish that there was a line or a guide to tell you when to stop filling your bag. So I designed these bags to do exactly that. Ooh, I see some edible royal icing decorations in here. There's light bolts, 16-bit hearts, and the smart cookie. Look how cute. Most commonly, you put these on top of cupcakes to decorate them, but you can also place them on the top of cakes, or because it's royal icing, you can even stick these on little cookies. Hi, goodie. Are you gonna help me? Or are you just taking a nap? I wanna get these sprinkles out of here. Where's all the sprinkles? Oh, yes. We've got sprinkles. They have the little smart cookie on the cap of all three of these. And these are each geeky themed sprinkles. The blue and yellow are stars and lightning bolts. This bottle is the Nerdy Nummy Sprinkle Mix. It's all the images from all the chapters in the Nerdy Nummy's cookbook. There's a smart cookie, a crown, a video game controller, a planet, and a little chemistry beaker. And here are 8-bit hearts. I have wanted these to exist for years and years and years and now they do. I'm not even gonna wait. I'm just gonna have one right now. Look how cute. <gasps> mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm gonna save these for later. Mm -hmm. over here. Also have these little sugar gems. They're kind of like rock candy. I thought it'd be really cool if you were gonna make like a geode cupcake or a cookie. Oh yes, we've got the cookie stamp. These are really fun, easy to use. You roll out cookie dough and stamp them. Boop, 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 boop. And then when they bake, it's kind of like filling in a coloring book. It gives you a guided line to trace with royal icing and decorate. This should also just be my letterhead, how I approve things. Approved. <coughs> Approved. Approved, approved, boom, you're approved, cookie. On to the molds. We've got some pretzel molds and lollipop molds. These ones look like little wizard or fairy ones. And these ones are 8-bit and 16-bit heart lollipop molds. Molds, molds, molds. And we have more molds. I saw them in here. Yes! 
we have the Nerdy Nummies Gummy Mold. This one has the smart cookie, an 8-bit heart, and a little dinosaur because dinosaurs have been a part of our show since the very beginning. We've got a dark pink one with 8 and 16-bit heart molds. I also have some footage of the process to make this mold. It was super fascinating and I wanted to share that with you guys. And we've got a blue gem mold. I love these gem designs. I have so many different gem molds, but they didn't have these ones. These are the shapes I really wanted. Last but not least, the poo silicone mold. I may be the most excited about this mold. They're poo cavities. I'm gonna be making a ton of treats in here. You can make little brownies, cakes, poo candles. <laughs> I love you. I got so many requests to make the apron that was on the cover of the Nerdy Nummies cookbook and that apron was actually made by my mom. And I love you mom, but we made them a little better because we put pockets on them. And we made matching oven mitts. It's a set. <laughs> I love these. I made a bunch of cookie cutters. All of them are comfort grip. I absolutely love comfort grip cookie cutters. They are my favorite because when you're cutting all of them out into the dough, it doesn't hurt your fingers. Little lollipop sticks. They're simple lollipop sticks, but they have cute little heart designs on them. Can't forget a whisk. Every kitchen needs one. It's got a grippy handle and it's the perfect size. Let's get started, let's get started. Some of you guys have seen these before, but not in its final packaging. They they are foil lined baking cups. There are foil lined cupcake liners out there, but they have designs all over the sides. They come with sprinkle designs, rainbow designs, tie dye designs, and they're super cute. But if you just want a solid color, they didn't exist until now. And these ones have cute little sayings on the bottom like cheers, treat yourself, ta da! Ooh, we got something big here at the bottom. It's a candy melting pot. This is one of my favorite items in the whole world. I use it all all the time whenever I am melting candy or chocolate. It is so easy to use and look, it's got nerdy nummies on it. Let's open it, let's open it. Yes, 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 yes. Got safety instructions. You may remember that I used one of these on the fondue challenge. They are so fun, I love them. Oh, yes! Now this is a rolling pin that I designed with two silicone guide rings. One is a quarter inch and one is half an inch. The quarter inch is pink and then the half an inch is a teal color. I completely wish that I had these when I started baking because when I first started, I was rolling my cookie dough too thick or too thin and the cookies weren't turning out correctly. This is a great way for your cookies to come out perfect every time. We've only got three items left in this box and the next one is my three bowl set. I am so excited about this. I have wanted to design my dream bowl set for quite some time. The three bowls are stackable. How adorable. <laughs> I'm just on a roll. I designed a pour spigot on each of the bowls. So when you're pouring cake batter, it doesn't run down the sides and get all over. Also has a little handle in the back and on the inside of the bowl, measuring lines. On one side of the bowl, there's the US measurements and on the other side of the bowl, the metric system measurements. Last but not least, an airtight lid. <gasps> Look at this cute little ball pan. I really wanted to make a sphere ball pan because I've made so many recipes using this shape. We've made an earth cake, a Death Star cake, and there are so many more adorable possibilities. The pan is two parts, top and bottom, and comes with two silicone stabilizers for baking. Think of all the planets we can make. Even Pluto. He isn't a planet but he thought he was, but he's not. We've got something in here. It is a wooden tablet cookbook stand. You can place a little iPad on here or a cookbook. It's so cute. And look, I can turn it off. Boop. Oh, those are the games I'm playing. One last thing in the box. Three different colors and flavored candy melts. These are the one in a melon watermelon candy melts. Next is la la lemon candy melts. I've been making a lot of lemon themed treats and recipes and I wanted a candy melt to go along with them. Last but not least, oh my berry strawberry candy melts. Oh. 
All right, that does it for all the items in my baking line. Again, the items are not out yet, but you can pre-order all of them on Amazon and Walmart right now. I'm gonna put a link down below. Go check it out if you're interested in anything. All of the items will officially be out Friday, August 18th. Online, it will be on Amazon and Wilton.com and in stores, Michaels and Joann's. A big thank you to you guys for watching my first unboxing video. I know that it was a little bit long, but I really wanted to give you a first look at everything. All right, thanks again. Bye-bye.